there are some people in friendship in a friendship circle you see that there's some that's like the boss yes maybe like the king. Uh, that there's some that like the me girls me girls kind of vibe <laughs> yeah. where there's oh god <laughs> The yeah. top ball, the top dog, yeah, and they have the, people that the people that follow them. Yeah, they, okay. they have the second in command and they have the messengers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if you are in that kind of circle, there those people that are the messengers somehow you notice that they have this kind of low self esteem. So as far as that they are in that club or in that friendship, they have this kind of boost of their own self esteem. That's what I'm saying. You have to be independent for yourself. Like you have to grow yourself, you have to be complete by yourself. Then moving into the aspect of a romantic relationship. Now, when you are in that kind of relationship where it's like romantic relationship, you have to understand that first of all, I am complete as a person, and being I'm a Christian, so I'm going to be calling Christ for that. So <laughs> I'm <Disclaimer>. complete. <laughs> I'm complete as a person and I know that Christ completes me. Do you understand? Mm. So I do not need a guy to complete me. I do not need a guy to make me feel that I am more of a woman. Do you understand? So it is you understanding that first of all, you should be independent in any relationship. Don't depend on anybody. Don't depend on people for maybe finance or motivation. Be your own motivation because even in the Bible, David encouraged himself before he was able to seek God. Do you understand? So you have to be your own motivation for yourself because that's why people try to listen to motivation. And one thing I want to tell you is leave good behind and upgrade. Keep upgrading yourself. People yeah, will always we need come. to do that. We need to upgrade. <laughs> Level up. <laughs> exactly. People will always people will get attracted to what they can identify. Yes. In as much as they believe in it. When, okay, so when you are able to like complete yourself for yourself and just know that you don't need a guy to complete you in as much as maybe you have your partner you love him so much he loves you so much you love him too and all of that and all those love love stuff you must know <laughs> that that person can is that person is a human being and human beings are bound to disappoint people yeah. so just get ready prepare yourself <laughs> for well, anything anything that can happen do you understand <laughs> no prepare yourself for anything that is coming that's why even david in the bible encouraged himself before he could inquire from god and before you enter into any relationship be very sure look at the green lights look at the red lights because there are some red lights that will be very obvious if you have started hitting you like this as friends wait <laughs> Hey, I get into a relationship. My sister, he will slap you. <laughs> and you know, women, we are so blessed. We have, um, we have this loud mouth. We can talk very well. So if he says, "Babe, it's okay," I am not hearing, it. and he's already slapping you in relationship. Just know that it's a red flag that you need to run away. Then also, there are some people that maybe he doesn't know. Um, maybe she doesn't know how to communicate effectively or he doesn't know how to communicate effectively um you need to work on that if it's something you guys can work if it's something you guys can communicate but in relation to self-esteem and insecurity because this is not a relationship talk it's just all about you focusing on you being complete don't depend on your partner don't depend on your friend for anything okay. the bible says look up to jesus Outside and finish out your faith. <laughs> so don't depend on you man. Jesus. <laughs> don't depend on man because even people with people, human beings are bound to disappoint you. Okay, so let's talk oh, about yeah. people that have been in relationships that maybe the last relationship the man cheated or the lady cheated. So there's this insecurity that comes with it that uh, this next person will go to do this thing and they don't feel that trust is already gone. Yeah. So there's no. Uh, that is it, an insecurity. That is definitely one. And then people start, you start talking, you start mm-hmm. over emphasizing, you start imagining mm-hmm. things. Yeah. And this reality, you can't just be messing around with people's lives because you feel the person that the person, has done the something. Last person, last person so this person should suffer for the sins of the last person. Exactly. So that is one problem that we should talk about. So like people who have low self esteem mm-hmm. from prior from their uh, other relationships, and it was a very toxic one. Then they, they get into a new one. Mm-hmm. But one thing I noticed that most people that do that are people that are not actually ill. People yeah. that are not self-built. You, you've not used from the previous one, then you are trying to get 
into another one, which I feel is a sign of uh, low self esteem. Because you cannot be uh, uh, waiting for somebody to validate you. Yeah. And waiting. So I think one problem is people who have not already healed mm -hmm. get into a new relationship. They tend to bring in those rules. Rose toxic uh, mentality that they add into the new one. So yeah. it creates insecurity in the relationship. And yeah. overall, even if that might be the guy for you mm -hmm. or the lady for you, then yeah. you flop one way or the other because of what you've had before. So this guy, I just feel I'm going to answer the calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <Calm> so down. <laughs> just calm down. Um, first of all, I feel if you just got out from a very bad relationship, do not rush into a new one. Do not look for a rebound. Yeah, basically, do not look for, <laughs> do not look for something that. like that. Just okay. heal on your own so that you don't pass those same things because we are all humans consciously unconsciously you start telling yourself what's this girl doing what's this guy doing hope he's not cheating hope he's not that hope she's not that in as much as you feel that okay you trust that person you have to heal personally by mm -hmm. yourself by what well, maybe going to the therapist first of all the holy spirit can help you if you're a christian okay. but keep like make sure you heal just free yourself from every form of relationship entanglement be friends with people talk to people start up as friends know the person's character and all of that but don't use that as a medium because i know that sometimes people tend to push this because of their insecurities their it's uncertainties it's their, project to that exactly that there's a lot of assumptions like and as a result of the assumptions they behave in a certain so way yeah. and all of that so rather than create problems for yourself because um making someone suffer for the sins of your previous relationship just heal on your own when you see that guy you like or the vice versa just tell him that well i got out from a bad relationship and i just want to heal let's just be friends give it time and time will always tell basically so just for me boost yourself like i i tell people you have to just work on yourself first before you now move into um, with another yeah, person you get so let's talk about uh, insecurities and uh, self-esteem in your work in your work life okay. where the, you see a lot of people are shy mm -hmm. they cannot you are working very hard mm -hmm. but yes you cannot stand up for yourself yeah, yeah. and you know that you deserve that raise mm -hmm. but yet you can't, you, you can't say it because yeah. of your esteem and most people will say okay i'm a shy guy or this thing being shy be a shy guy or a shy girl mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't come up or shouldn't say uh, things that you know that you deserve mm -hmm. go up to that person and actually say i demand uh, you demand that you demand that thing mm -hmm. and a lot of things that i got was, from your boss <laughs> okay one thing i uh, i get is that uh, which I've actually been a victim of is mm -hmm. when you call some people, group of people into a conversation okay. or into a meeting to come and tell us, say something. Yes. Like a lot of people don't want to talk. Um, it's a very confident one, and people always see the people that talk first yeah. or the group of people that talk first as, as very, very safe, exactly because that has some next level confidence. Yeah. You cannot just stand up in the middle of a meeting and say yeah. things, but I feel people should actually do that more. No, okay. Exactly, let your voice be heard. Yeah. So, so basically, I just feel like. Be able to praise yourself because when you are able to praise yourself, when you are able to comfortably talk about, because people are scared of talking about these things, because they'll feel like, okay, maybe I'm just trying to be humble. It's me just being humble and all that. <laughs> it's good to okay. be humble, yeah. but it's good to praise yourself. If you have an award, talk about it because the more you talk about these things, the more confidence you get when you are with people. Yeah. So it's okay. easier for you to stand up and say, okay, um, sir. I deserve. I'm. Um, I suggest that I get a raise. No, I don't think this and all that. that. Okay, so so is good. you can be able to state yeah. that, cause so that you don't sound rude. Because there's one thing for you to sound assertive, and, and you not start being rude, rude. Okay. and all of that. So, so the difference between so assertiveness just, and being rude. Exactly. So you just be able to communicate your, be able to communicate your information effectively, but not in a rude manner. You get. Mm. So basically, I just feel that. When you're comfortable, let's say try with a friend. Okay, this is where I am. I've been able to achieve this. I've been able to achieve that. Or writing down your achievements. It's easier for you to be able to praise yourself in that light. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to a board meeting where you guys are talking in your organization and they're saying um, you're bringing forth a proposal that you need a raise, it's easier for you to communicate because 
you can be able to share your experiences of how far you have gone and where these insecurities like um low self-esteem or high one because high one could be when you are is too high i think high, one thing is true about high self-esteem for those people mm-hmm. that need validation from other people yeah. those people that they get high true mm-hmm. opinions and comments, comments. and when uh the negative of bad comments start coming, they mm-hmm. start becoming aggressive mm-hmm. or they start having doubts about this thing. I think one thing too about that is you shouldn't de- uh, depend on people's thoughts or yeah. what they feel about your work. Mm-hmm. Once you know that you are putting a lot of your your work life, like yeah. you are putting your spirit, yeah. you are putting your soul, you are invested in it and you are really are okay. The truth is, right now, at a small, if you are starting small, mm-hmm. is of course, you want to start, you want to be there that day, but mm-hmm. when you start small, you feel that as far as you are doing the best, somebody will check your work out. Yeah. Somebody is always going to check your work out, somebody will love it. Yeah. I want that person, that special person, yes, like every other person, your work is love. So, one thing I always feel that people should invest in their work, no matter yeah. if they are starting small. Yeah, just be the excellent. Their, exactly, just be excellent. Do the best you can. Uh-huh. Don't just do one thing yeah and also do it with the best you can with the reality of your environment because there are some people they want to do the best they can and they start boring you understand so you have to do the best you can with your environment with your resources what you have and make sure you do it and do it excellently well you get so don't do it and be feeling maybe i need to get more stuff i need to borrow more stuff i need to take a loan i need to do this and knowing fully what you like you can't pay back. So whenever you're doing stuff like that, make sure you're doing it excellently, but with the reality of your environment. Uh, so one problem we have when we want to do something is this imposter syndrome, which is another topic by the way, we talk on that. Mm-hmm. Imposter syndrome, where somebody feels it's a fraud when you're doing something. Have you ever felt like you want to start, um, like I remember when I wanted to do my festival for the first time, I felt like I can't do this, what am I trying to do? Mm-hmm. Like, who is this person? Yeah. This is not me. So I feel like a fraud. Yeah. That's the imposter syndrome. Yeah. So I feel like I'm not, I can't do certain things. So why am I trying to fit into that? Okay, so now, um, there's something I do with my friend, my very good friend, yeah. and it's team of the week. So we talked about something, evaluation, and we're like, there's sometimes you evaluate yourself, mm-hmm. and your evaluation become a limitation, a self like an image you have created that becomes a limitation yeah. to your full potentials. So you have so evaluated yourself because you are self-evaluation and everything, and you have limited your full potentials. So now at that point, what you do is seek for the right validation. That's why people have role models. That's why people have mentors. Okay, my mentor, this is what I want to go into now. What do you think about this? What's the next step? What do you, how do you see me doing that? you understand so yeah. basically that's what in those kind of situations i feel it's best you have the right people that's like no man, no man is an island we all need people and we need the right people seriously we just need the right people the right people to validate yeah you. sometimes not all the time you don't need too much comment comment you don't need too much that's why exactly you, that's at like the this person i remember when uh, kadibi was always yeah. say, saying about that she gets a lot of bad or haters and things like that. And social media is really a very toxic environment. It's, it's a very good place. It could be so toxic. Many it could and be it good. could be very toxic when mm-hmm. people, especially when they just start getting true on maybe Twitter, mm-hmm. and which is a very sad thing mm-hmm. because when people start bullying you or doing this, mm-hmm. and a lot of people with this social media out now, a lot of cyber bullying, yeah. which is another topic that we should talk about. Mm-hmm. Uh, people getting bullied online, yeah. and this affects their world. And you hear a lot of even people send death threats, you hear somebody say that kill yourself, you don't deserve to be alive, mm. you are, we, I hope you get raped and things like yeah. that. So all these hateful comments, hateful mm. comments which affect someone's self-esteem mm. as a person. But I think if you know your worth as a person, yeah. if you already clarify that no matter what someone else, else says, is, that's, no matter, their opinion, that's their own opinion, opinion and that is not going to affect me yeah. as a person. So I think that's one way to look at it that way yeah. too. So the insecurities and self-esteem in all these areas is uh, is a very, very, very 
the sensitive topic that people need to talk about more and more. more. I think this is a very good platform to talk about it. Yeah. But still, we need to talk about it mm-hmm. more. Yeah, because I just feel that basically make sure you hear the right things. Because it's what you hear, what you see, is what plays in your mind. Like, sometimes maybe you have a conversation with somebody and you're not so interested in the conversation. Or you feel like maybe something is going to... Maybe you see a post. Like me, I'll talk about myself. I mind what I watch and what I listen to because I'm the people I talk to. When I notice that, okay, this conversation is going to bring down my esteem because nobody plans for it. No, yeah, exactly. Nobody, nobody plans, plans for it. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody plans for it. When I notice it, I walk away quietly. So there's sometimes you have to block these channels intentionally. Like for instance, a page like Twitter. You go on Twitter, you put up a post, and you see a lot of hate comments, a lot of bad comments. Yeah. As much as possible, turn off your phone, keep it away. <laughs> you understand? And yeah. keep saying your words of affirmation. This is who you are. This is what God has made you to be. This is what God has called you to be. And everything, just keep saying it, keep repeating it. And walk in that light. And as much as possible, when I started this video, I said something that you have to stay focused. Because focus, maybe it may sound so cliche, but if indeed you are really, really focused, like side comments, side attractions will not distract you. Because they said that if you have a picture, if there is a picture of what you want to achieve, distractions are really, really limit limited or you stab them you are intentionally about you are intentional about stabbing your distractions yeah one so thing I, I just when i was about to talk about this but when i was in my research when i was in my research i found out that most brokers or these are people in the uh, in the forex world yeah. they need psychiatrists to actually boost their confidence over so to tell them that your quarterly uh, money is yeah. you are doing your performance quarterly is mad that yeah. You do this, so they need to keep pushing and pushing their steam. So what and get that. Have you watched the Wolf of Wall Street? No, I've not, I've not seen it, but I've seen a uh, billions. Yeah, we've yeah. seen billions. That's one uh, series to that. Yeah. The guy, one thing she did, he did was uh, he, he, um, he gave this woman the job. She's a very good friend of ours, a psychiatrist. I can't remember her name, right? So, what she did was she employed her, and this woman gave boosting the work of this one. This company started going well. Mm. So I think that's one thing to um, record videos yeah. when you're happy. When you're in your happy moments, record a video of affirmation. So when you're done, you can actually look at that video that's and see that that is you. Yeah. That is you. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us for talking at the topic. Yeah. Okay, so thank you viewers. Thank you. If you really enjoyed this video, you can click on the subscribe button and I'll leave our socials down, we'll leave our Twitter. Yeah. Uh LinkedIn. Mm. She's on LinkedIn. <laughs> Uh, Instagram, Instagram also, so you can actually hear more about her. She has something called Be Inspired. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can get inspired. She's very inspiring. I love her videos and her real life uh, quotes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you see that down, I will put all those down in uh, the description box so you can actually follow her and get inspired too. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah. She really appreciates you. And this was a very interactive section. Yeah, it was. Thank you for having me. So I hope a lot of you guys read about uh, insecurity and I hope you work on it. Yeah. And always remember, if you don't love yourself or if you are not secure as a person, yeah. that validation will come from any other person. Yeah. So that's something. That's a takeaway. You didn't take anything. That's a takeaway. Yeah. Be inspired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.